everyone thank you for tuning in this is your instructor joy today this will be an answer to a subscriber this violinist and violist is uh, having a trouble with um, when bowing uh, this violinist and violist is touching the corner of the violin unwantingly and also sometimes a thumb right thumb tend to touch the violin and other parts of the violin unwantingly and wanting to know how to fix that good question i think um this is quite common problem many many of us have and that's why when you see an old violin that has been used that has been used for many many years you see the the corner of the violin being quite having quite worn out almost like a black corner or the edge kind of missing or here as well so you're not the only one that's just the way we all have to deal with but it is nevertheless a great idea to know how to um, control that so that we preserve our violin better and we become also better with a bow technique now when it comes to right hand whether it's thumb or any part unwantingly touching while doing up bow like that often has to do with your bow hand adjustment as you know um, the bow hand does not stay always same let's see if I go up I don't know if you're able to see my bow hand starts somewhat flatter or if you pay attention to my wrist but then as I get closer to the fro which is this part my wrist start coming up and then when I get really closer to the front my hand gets, hand gets a little rotated like this let me show you again wrist comes up now my left hand gets rotated yeah like that the reason why we do that is to balance the bow weight as you know, this part of the bow, which we call a fra, has lots of parts. So this is heavier than the tip. Um, if we do nothing, if we keep the bow in the same, same way, it's just too heavy. Not only that, our hand parts, thumb and other fingers are really close to the violin and string. So probably this is, might be something similar scenario that we end up hitting the violin unwantingly because the hand is too close and probably the violin may not sound as nice. So it is good for all of us to learn how to properly balance the weight of the bow by lifting our wrist when you get closer to the frog and rotate a tiny bit. It will result in the violin bow being a little lighter, therefore it's gonna sound nicer, and then you're not gonna touch the violin corner either. Yeah, so like that. Now wrist up and rotate it like that. Yeah, that's that. I I hope that should fix quite quickly. Now second one is check the angle of the bridge. Yeah, so the angle of the bridge. Um, I like my bridge to be angled quite quite strongly, not so flat. But some uh, student violin tend to have a little round or a little flatter uh, bridge, which is a little harder to stay in one string without touching others. Uh, and also because we feel like we can't move much while playing the inner strings, when we get to play higher string or the lower string, we feel like, oh, finally we're free. So we tend to overdo that. And that's why also we end up touching and un unwantingly the corner of the violin yeah so if that's the case you can do two things first play uh, find the right angle when you play a high string so that you don't touch the lower string but also you're not touching the corner of the violin so find that one angle you can do that in front of a mirror or just by simply watching with your bare eyes and then once you found it, see if you can remember in how it feels in your arm. Because we don't always have a luxury of having a mirror in front of us, uh, so that when it works, you want to remember in your arm how it felt, so that you can always redo that. 
without touching the corner of the violin and with neither the next string. Of course, you should put enough time repeating that one. And the last solution um, involves a little um, luthier work. So you can, this, if your violin bridge tend to be a little too flat, you can have it uh, carved or reshaped that's a little more stronger shape of round so that you, you're not always so um, afraid of moving your arm, your right arm freely when you adjust on different strings so that when you end up being uh, high string or low string, you don't tend to overdo that. That's the last solution that you can try, yeah? And, but even if you end up hitting here and there, it's not a big deal, but always working on the fine bow grips and fine bow technique is always a good idea because it will pay off and you will make nicer sound too. Yeah. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and thank you all of you for your continued support. Hope to see you again. Bye bye.